Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Okay, today I just sort of want to take a step back and introduce myself. Today when I was at Three Ships just chilling, I was approached again by a couple who saw my gear and we started talking and I realized basically in the past year I went from like 134 subscribers, give or take, up to 333 as of today. So it, it's, been a, it's been a busy year for me and I'm thrilled about that. One thing that I haven't really done, other than in bits and pieces and telling stories and all that kind of stuff, I've never said hello and told you who I am and what I'm about. So I'm gonna do that now. Basically, I've been a photographer for over 15 years. I think it's, it's kind of like 18, depending on where I consider my actual start as a photographer, but we'll just say over 15 years. And I love it. I immediately took to it. I wish that I had access to the gear I have now back when I was a deep sea diver for the Navy. Which, by the way, I was a deep sea diver for the Navy. I've been around the world and all that kind of stuff. And more specifically, when I got assigned to my first dive locker, I wasn't even there a week, two weeks, and I got tasked to go on a trip to Scotland. I spent as much time as I could outside on the front of our dive boat as it was going through the rolling hills of Scotland with just with my mouth open looking at all the scenery if you ever have a chance to go to scotland you have to go and and it's just unbelievable the only record i have of that is what's in my like messed up melon so basically i don't have a record of it and a lot of the stuff that i have i mean even from college and so on and so forth is just pictures that somebody else took and, and happened to give me a copy of so once digital photography started to become a thing and that was like the first thing I did. I bought, I think it was a two megapixel Kodak camera. It was basically just a hunk of plastic and a battery. It was a pretty horrible camera and I loved it. I couldn't, I mean, once I got it, I just couldn't stop and I've been buying gear ever since then. That was probably right around 2003. So again, a little over 15 years, 18 years, give or take, because I consider that the actual start of me being a photographer. As soon as I got that Kodak camera, I started going balls to the wall with it. So ever since then, I basically live my life looking through a lens. And some people say, oh, you know, you should want to experience life, not look at it through a lens. Pfft, screw that. I'd rather look at it through a lens. I mean, I have been doing this for so long that when I see people, I imagine what kind of photo shoot I could do with them. When I drive by places, I imagine a location that I can like do a photo shoot at or shoot a video now since I've gotten more into video. And I'm constantly, constantly going through almost entire movies in my head of things to shoot with people that I see and with places that I go and so on and so forth. So it's a passion for me. There's been a couple times in that time period where I allowed the passion to get sucked out of me, and that's when I monetized. When I decided to start being a professional photographer and charging for stuff, that's when it just became a job, and I hated it. And I stopped doing it for like a year, and then a friend wanted me to take boudoir photos of her, and I was like, I haven't touched a camera in a year. And she's like, well, you better dust it off and, and get familiar with it again because I want you to do this. And I did, and that got things going again. So I've been doing it ever since then. When I got this job, my current day job, and I moved here from Chicago, I didn't have time to do anything. It's funny because I could then afford better gear and I bought myself a Canon 6D and I, you know, I was all good to go. And I just didn't have any time for it because I was constantly working. All that being said, I'm now at a point where you know me now, I'm on here, I shoot daily videos, and I'm always the guy with a camera. Everywhere I go, I have a camera. And the nice thing about it is that everywhere I go, most of the time I'm approached by people. They see the gear and it strikes up a conversation. And I love that. It's just like I'm always telling you, I love the interaction on here. If you've got questions, ask me. I'll be more than happy to talk about it with you. And that's how I am when I'm out in public. So this is the second day in a row now because I've been going to three ships and sort of hanging out because it's been in the 60s and 70s here and sunny. And I wanted to take advantage of that. So yesterday, you know, I had my camera, my run and gun A6600 on the mini tripod sitting on the on the table as I was drinking my coffee and, and soaking up the sun. And 
you know, a woman walked by with, with, a, with a gentleman. She's like, okay, I'm sorry, I have to interrupt you, but I just have to ask, you know, what's up with this? And we chatted for a little bit. And then today, same thing. I was sitting there and I noticed a couple off waiting for their drinks. They were looking and, you know, they just, it just started a conversation. And we ended up talking for like half an hour. And that's the kind of stuff I love. I love doing that. Now, I'm not out there, you know, like a, a trap having all this gear just to get people to come up and talk to me, but I know that having that kind of gear leads to questions and conversation, and I love that. And that is really what this all gets down to. That's what this channel sorta is all about. I love helping people. I can talk forever. Sometimes I just don't shut up, especially when I'm passionate about something. I'm passionate about photography and videography and creating and sort of bridging a gap between people because I'm approached by people that you would think wouldn't approach me. And now that I look like a skinhead, you know, you'd think it's even worse, but, but it doesn't stop people. It doesn't stop the right people that come up and talk to me. And I love that. And that's why I do this. When I originally started this channel, or restarted this channel, it was all about being a disabled veteran and trying to be a creator with a body that just doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. I, that kind of got boring to me. No offense to people with disabilities or, or creators that have disabilities, but I thought there's only so many times that I can talk about how much my back hurts, how much my neck hurts, I've got a headache, I'm so stiff today. I mean, I will bitch and moan, spurst in with my video, but it hasn't really become this, the focus of the, of the channel. You'll see my struggles, I'll tell you when I'm struggling and so on and so forth when I'm shooting video and I'm out and about. One of the things that I talked to that couple about today was that you know when I had decided that, that the pandemic shutdown had eliminated every excuse I made for myself to not be shooting and posting videos. I shouldn't say shooting video because I shoot every day, every single day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't shoot footage and or pictures every day. The problem was is that I had months hundreds of hours of footage and I didn't do anything with it because I was like, eh, I hate editing. I suck at it. It's going to suck. I don't want to do, you know, oh, I'm on the road. I don't have time. By the time I get home, you know, I don't want to rush it. I want to, I want to get the gear right and all that kind of stuff. And I just kept buying gear and doing all this stuff and I had this amazing gear and I didn't do anything with it. And another friend of mine chastised me and said, dude, you have more gear than some studios, like some small studios, businesses, pick something and talk about it and post a video. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the point, is that you basically document your journey of learning all this stuff. And I thought, okay, so when the pandemic shutdown came around and I wasn't on the road, because for my day job, in reality, normally I'm driving 500 to 1500 miles a week. So I was always on the road, staying in hotels, you know, I'm, I took a camera with me. I wasn't gonna bring a laptop. I wasn't gonna bring all this crap with me because I got sick of carrying all this shit around. And I was like, well, I'll just film the days that I'm out and I'll come home and I'll edit it all together. And then I come home and I'd be like, eh, I didn't really want to. So I didn't do that, but it eliminated that excuse because now I was home. I've been home for a year like everybody else. You know, I don't go on the road. I work virtually and there's no excuse. I have no excuse. So last year, when I knew that those barriers that I had set up for myself were eliminated, that's when I decided I needed to start posting. So I posted a video every day. I, I think it might have been for a hundred, a hundred straight days, and then I took a, like a week off, and then I started posting again because it bothered me that I wasn't posting. You know, and I, I didn't do every day in this past year, but I've done most of it, except for this this actual fiscal fiscal year, this actual calendar year of 2021. I've been posting every day since January 1st, and I intend to keep that going for as long as I can. Now, if you have been with me, or if you go through my videos and you see them all in there, and you've watched them, some of them suck. Some of them still suck, even though I've got great gear and I've gotten really good at editing. Well, I won't say really good, I've gotten better at editing. And I've started to now incorporate music in, I've done different kind of cuts, I've done multi-cam stuff. You know, I'm slowly learning and adding stuff to my repertoire, but I was telling this couple earlier that if I go back and look at some of my older videos, I just, it's cringeworthy. I, I'm just like embarrassed. And you know, I was like, I can't take it down. I can't take it down, that would be bad. That's the point, document the journey. So I won't take any of my old videos down, but I sure would like to redo them now. 
my editing was awful. My speaking was awful. And you'll see that I'm cutting a lot. What I'm cutting out is all the uh, um, so and like I've actually recognized the, the audio spike and I can tell you what word I'm saying without realizing I've said it. It just becomes habit. I don't cut out the swearing. I swear, get over it. And I do clear my throat and I try to cut all that out if I've left myself enough space. Any given video, I've probably shot two hours worth of footage and I try to pare it down to under 10 minutes, usually. Unless there's something that I'm blathering on about and I sometimes go 15, 17 minutes. I don't know that I have many videos that are over 20 minutes and that's pushing it because I know I don't like to watch videos that are that long. It's, it's a rarity that, that somebody's got my attention for that long. So that's pretty much me in a nutshell. I started out as a photographer almost 20 years ago. I still do photography. I love it. I'm always with at least one camera and I have since become passionate about the videography. I love this YouTube channel. I love the interaction. I love going all over Virginia Beach and, and it's getting, I mean, I'm not Casey Neistat or anything going around New York City, but people know me because I go to the same places and all that kind of stuff. They know I've got a camera. They, what are you shooting today? You know, things like that. And I love that. It truly is my passion, which is why, I mean, I'm not a popular channel by any means. And I don't have any kind of affiliation with any brands or anything. Nobody's sending me shit for free to, to review or doing all that kind of stuff or because I'm who I am, you know. I'm not Peter McKinnon getting G-Shock watches because I'm Peter McKinnon. And that's fine because I don't care about that shit. I don't care about the money. I don't care about the gear and all that kind of stuff. I have my own gear that I bought and paid for, that I like, that I use. I have my own stuff so that no one can tell me what to use, what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and all that kind of stuff. And that's the way I like it. Which isn't to say that if people want to send me free shit, I won't take it. But, you know, keep in mind, you're going to get what you get if you know who I am. So that's who I am currently. We'll see what I am tomorrow. But I just wanted to reach out and thank everybody who have become subscribers and who regularly interact with me in my videos and so on and so forth. I'm still improving every day and I always will be till I drop dead. And even then, because then I'll come back as something better. All right, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. All you new people, all you older people, all you people that are just stumbling upon me now, I welcome you to join me along this ride. Thanks for being there. Thanks for commenting and interacting. And as always, like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.